According to Chris Sheridan of ESPN.com, Stephon Marbury has been suspended for one game by the Knicks, who are alleged, alleging he refused to play Wednesday night against the Detroit Pistons when they had just two healthy guards. A source close to the team telling Sheridan that Marbury will be docked the game's pay. He's also been told to stay away from the team at least until Monday when his status will be readdressed. According to a Players Association attorney advising Marbury, a grievance will be filed with the league. Meanwhile, Marbury having this to say about his discussion with coach Mike D'Antoni, according to the New York Post, quote, I never told him I'm not going to play. Those words never came out of my mouth. We need to separate from the relationship. The marriage is over. It's a done deal. I wouldn't trust him to walk my dog across the street. End quote. For more here now, we bring in the man who broke this story, ESPN.com's own Chris Sheridan. And uh, Chris, this has uh, been something that has been moving perhaps to this point all season long. Why this action now? Well, it's just the next logical step in the soap opera. <laughs> like, uh, like Stefan said, uh, you know, it's a divorce and the marriage is over. And uh, sometimes these things get ugly. And, and now it's going to get into a he said, she said thing about what exactly was said between Stefan Marbury and coach Mike D'Antoni when Stefan allegedly refused to play uh, in Detroit on Wednesday night. Um, you know, Stefan will say they didn't even have a uniform for me because he pointed that out to, to one, uh, one of the reporters at the game. There was no uniform in his locker. So um, it, it's clear that he and Mike D'Antoni are on such poor speaking terms that each of them is walking away from their brief conversations with a little bit of a uh, different interpretation as to what exactly uh, was said. But uh, for now, this thing goes on the shelf until Monday. Donnie Walsh is back with his family in Indianapolis for the, uh, for the long weekend, and he's got to attend to this uh, again on Monday, and we'll see where it goes next then. Again, it has been a surreal thing to see uh, Marbury on the bench there in street clothes. Uh, this was a bit of a surprise, perhaps, when Dan Tony took this job, uh, skewing the uh, open Bulls job. How did this relationship with he and Stefan Marbury get to this point? Well, I think that's the question that Donnie Walsh is asking himself as well, and why didn't he have a, a finger on it uh, earlier, uh, his finger on the pulse of how bad it had gotten between uh, D'Antoni and Stefan, because they have a bad history going back to uh, Phoenix when, when Mike D'Antoni traded Stefan Marbury away. Uh, that's, right, that's when the Knicks got him. And uh, Donnie probably should have made this thing go away long, long ago, before training camp even started. But uh, Donnie's always said, I, I've always traded my problems away. I've never done a buyout in my life. And He's still sticking with that, but in the meantime, Stefan has been a, a huge uh, distraction, not only as the Knicks got off to their big start, but uh, even now, after their two big trades, uh, Stefan is still the story of the day, which is uh, rather amusing and, and uh, incredible. Of course, uh, as we learned with LeBron James's visit there uh, of late, uh, with those trades that you mentioned, plus perhaps a buyout for Stefan Marbury, Donnie Walsh's Knicks might be able to afford two big free agents come 2010, but this figures to be taken care of long before then. It will be readdressed Monday morning. How do you see this playing out? Well, I think the next step in it is for the Knicks to go to uh, Stefan and say, hey, we'll offer you a buyout. We'll give you, uh, you know, X percent, whether they want to offer him 80 percent, 85, 90, 99, whatever it is. Uh, the, from what my sources are telling me, the Knicks still haven't made uh, that step and, and given Stefan a number that he can consider. And uh, I, I think that's uh, what Stefan has been waiting for. And in the meantime, he's been showing up at practice but not practicing. And he's been showing up at games and most of the time sitting there in a suit, uh, once against Milwaukee in uniform, but, but Mike D'Antoni didn't play him. That was uh, the, the night that the, trick, the, the trades were going down. So uh, it's, a, it's a situation that continues to develop. And like I said, the, the union is already saying they're going to grieve this. So it's going to get into a he said, uh, he said she said thing. And uh, again, it'll, it'll linger through the weekend until Monday comes and the Knicks decide which way they're going to go. And we get the next episode of what you uh, so correctly called the soap opera. Chris Sheridan, the man who broke this story, we very much appreciate your time this morning. Thanks, Josh.